Hey guys! Alright, in this part we're gonna get most of the rest of the stuff done in Pterodactyl Land. Cause, you know, as much as I like this world, I think, um, we are, this is the fourth part we're gonna be spending in it. Possibly fifth. Actually, fifth part we're gonna be spending in it. And that's a bit much. At least I think it is. This should be part 23. Okay. And now, I'm gonna go, um, get Mumbo and I'll be back. Actually, no, 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 I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I want to find the other Rocknut Tribe guy. I will cut to doing that at least. Right, so I'm over here. I just flew around to the... Oh god, Rocknut. I just flew around to the other side of the mountain. And as you can see, there's some nice little... This is the second level. If you look down... No. Okay, if you look down, you can see that's the water where the honeycomb was and the egg was. If you just fly up a little bit from there, you will find where we're supposed to go. Okay, and that needs to be roared at by something. So... Shall we play a game? It's called Jump! Crap! Ugh. I don't like this game. It causes jumping. Up. Huh. Cut! Okay. Ah. Okay. Don't mind the noises. Oh god. Okay. Just sneak around and right up your ass. Ah! Arg! Not believe you beaten Raw Rock Nuts tribe. All go shape of the jiggy. Okay, this. Well, we need a little help to get that. What do we need exactly? Well, that's for me to know, and you to find out eventually, because I will tell you. But, yeah. What is this? I need this. Okay. I can't remember where the other one is. Well, because there's an egg in here, as well as an egg in the Oogle Boogle Cave, which is where the guy that we terrified is, or was, so, as the, as the T-Rex, so, need to go get Kazooie, Kazooie, and probably pick up these, uh, okay, wait a minute, ah, secret, secret passage, this might be it. This is much larger than the other ones. Oh, no. That's one of my precious babies! Oh, isn't it adorable? No. Okay. So that's almost all of those. We are almost done with the hatchling thingies. So... I can't believe it. We might finish up Pterodactyl Land in this part. That's just... Oh, I can't even begin to explain all of the joy. But, I mean, it's just that we've... it's just that this level takes such a long time to do. Such a long time. And I don't even remember where the last Jinjo is. Except I do know where the last Jinjo is, but I just don't... Wait a minute, do I have the last Jinjo? I'm pretty sure I got it. Yeah, see, I got all the Jinjos, all the moves, and what? There's one note? One bunch of notes. This reminds me of something. One note. Sigh. Okay, so we got five Jiggies. We're about to get another one. We're, don't worry, we're about to get another one. 
Just that we need to go and see those rock the the Oogle Boogle tribe that we've been talking about forever. So let's go back to the beginning. And let's see. We just need to go up, up, and up. Because in the way to the Oogle Oogle tribe, we had to run up this ramp to scare him. So it should not be, you know, there shouldn't be much longer. Because there's one Jiggy we can't get yet. There's always a Jiggy we can't get. Always. I think every level there's a Jiggy we can't get yet, except for one. Hello! So these cavemen are all very, um, unfortunate. We gotta warm up a bit. Another good reason to have Dragon Kazooie. Yes, melt the ice. Me warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Huh. Sounds like a use for junk food, which we have run into before. Yay! What are you gonna do when the fire burns down, though? Or burns out? Jumping jacks, that's what he'll do. Junk food, okay. You know, junk food isn't that good for you, just so you know, fellas. It's not going to keep you alive for much longer than I'm sure you're going to be alive anyway. Ugh. What the? Okay. That says to Witchy World. Okay, that's a way for us to get junk food to them. Unfortunately, we don't have the means to do that yet. Okay. What's the deal? What's with all the darkness? Okay. I bet there's a shock spring pad under here. I bet there is. I'm brilliant. I really didn't remember, but it was pretty obvious. And there's probably more cavemen this way, because, you know, they're cavemen and stuff. Junk food, good. Stop shivering. It's getting on my banjo nerves. Me warm. Yes, yes, they all want junk food. How do they know what junk food is exactly? You know, I feel like eating the sticks, which you're trying to do. Me like fast food. You know, I feel like eating the sticks is probably better for you than what you want me to do. So, I just don't know, Rock Nuts. I just don't know. Okay, but as you can see, there's split-up pads right here. And, if you remember... Oh, God, did I take damage from that? I'm not so sure I did. Because, you know, Dragon Kazooie and stuff. Sit on the egg, and... Da -da -da. Oh, God! Yikes, she's a big girl, isn't she? Too right, she can't even fly. Hmm, not sure if there'll be room in our nest. You couldn't just hit it with one of those grenade eggs, could you? Ha 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 ha! Oh, we've got an exercise program. I'll just go and find Banjo then. Okay, so now Banjo has to do some work. Can you actually get to see what it's like to use Banjo's new skill that we picked up in the first episode of being here, but didn't actually ever use? Now we get to use it. And we get to use it one more time before we leave. And Scoop! Somehow managed to fit that giant pterodactyl that's larger than Banjo is into his backpack that's twice, that's half of his size. You know, kind of think of it, that's a big backpack, because that's a bear. That is a bear. And it has a backpack that's half of its body. Although I guess it's a human-sized bear. Just, I don't even know what's up with you, Banjo. Like, seriously, man. Freak! Okay, but anyway, we need to... Go, go, go! And I don't think it increases the power or anything. It might, if you have somebody in the pack. It might do that. It might. So many parts that are pterodactyl land. I really should just... Let one go until I finish. But I, you know, the last Jiggy that I'm concerned about is just giving me some trouble. Just because I don't know, remember what to do for it. I know there's like three steps for it. Three steps to get everything that I need. And I just don't remember what to do. And it's driving me crazy. 
And did I mention that on the spot stomping planes, we can't hit Banjo Switch until we have a new Banjo ability? Because I... God, wrong way, Banjo. We got the Rock Nuts. We did... Okay. You know, for the longest time, I couldn't ever actually figure out how to do the long Rock Nut Jiggy, because... Well, I'll explain that in a second. That's the last one. Thank goodness, because we wouldn't want to see another egg for the rest of the game. Here's the other half of your reward, as promised. Give me my Jiggy. So we got three Jiggies from Terry. What a helpful guy. And we're actually done with the clockworks for now. But, um... Yeah. So that was that. That was nice. We got a whole bunch of stuff done. Wait, we're not done with the part yet, you fool. But... Like I was saying, there's one Jiggy, I just can't remember what to do for it. We got all the Jinjos, we're still missing notes, that's gonna drive me insane. Where did we split up? Oh, we split up at, at the Unga Bunga Cave, or Ooga Booga Cave. Okay. And I don't want to go into any other parts, but it's looking like... I don't know, man. Um... You know, actually, I'm going to meet you, because there's nothing else I really needed. I'm going to meet you as Banjo-Kazooie outside of a remumboed Wumba cave, Wumba thing. So I'll meet you then. Alright, so I have a little bit of information. I now know where the last note is, which, that is a huge load of his order, but we're not going to get that right now. We shrank Humba's thing, and what could she possibly do? She can't fit a giant T-Rex in here. Well, apparently she knows how to improvise. Because we are now a smaller T-Rex. Time to call this baby T-Rex. Use a control stick to move. Alright. So we can't really do anything as this. We lack the cognitive ability to do anything. So, what do we do? Well, we have to learn. Learn! Learn, you wimp! Learn! But I can't learn. I can't do anything. All the other T-Rexes just pick on me. Oh, that's sad. Alright. Away from sad. Away! Hmm, okay. So, to the world entry. We need to... I think that's what I need to do. Um... I should have researched this better. Whatever. I can make do... with Tyrannosaurus. God, Tyranno! Flew real low. It flew real low. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. So I am a Minisaurus right now. And what can the Minisaurus do? Well, the Minisaurus can try real hard and fly real low. If anyone gets that reference, not only are you awesome, you're also very strange. Oh my god, just fit through the hole. I swear this never happens to me. Um, where is it? Why can I not find things that I need to find when I need to find them? I can't go in there as Baby T-Rex, or I will get shat on. Uh, uh, oh god, oh no, oh god. Alright, I'm gonna figure out where I need to go, and I will meet you guys back when I do. Oh! Wait a minute! Stupid! To roar, you talk to one of the Degasaurs. Oh my god! Hello! Wow, a new dinosaur! What are you? A vicious T-Rex! You're not that vicious! You don't even know how to roar properly, do you? Or no, I don't think we do. It's easy. Just tap B for a short roar and hold B for a long one. Thanks! Let's go roar at someone. Good. Okay, so that is how the T-Rex learns to roar. I have assumably, presumably, cut to that, because that's a whole bunch of crap that we didn't need to see. Okay. That's good. Now, now that we have that, 
Please tell me you can walk this up. This. Okay. So that the big Storus Saurus can walk up here and can roar in short bursts and long ones. Okay. Good. And now we need to get back to where Wumba is, because we can roar at the door that we found, and open it. Oh my god. Okay. I forgot. I can't... I always forget that. I always think that there's some other thing we have to read in order to, like, be able to roar. But it turns out, no, we can just roar at stuff if we talk to a dinosaur. And a Cheeto page! And hello. Roar, 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 roar. Roar! Okay, so it's two quick ones. Roar, 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 roar. Okay. One, one, two, 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 one. One, one, two, one, two. Wait. One, one, two, one, two, two. Okay, good. One, one, two, two, two. One, one, two, one, two, two. Okay. And this will go. Ah! Get out of my way, sir. Okay. Ah! Why are you attacking me? I'm a freaking Tyrannosaurus. I will come back when I'm older and destroy you. You know I will. Don't tempt my wrath. Okay. So in order to do what we were going to do, we need to go this way. I remember this all now. See, it's all coming back to me now, which is stupid. Roar! And over here, past where the rock dump would be, good thing we got rid of him, should be... Roar! 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 No! No, no. Okay. Roar. 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 And squawk. Hold on. What? Only when the secret code of the dinosaurs is heard will this jiggy be yours. I swear it was. Short one. Short one. Long one. Short one, long one, long one. What? I read the code. What is this? There we go. Okay, I don't know what was deal what his deal was, but we got it. And that is pretty much all the jiggies we can get right now. The last Cheeto page is oh god, where's the last Cheeto page? Um I don't know, but I think my focus right now is gonna be a couple of things. We need to go get the notes. Hold on a minute. I think I will show... I need to show something that I will be getting in a minute. I'm getting much later. But I need to show, show, show it, because if I don't, it won't make much sense to people that have never played this game before. So it is important that I show it right now. Sprawing! So what's this? Oh god! No, oh, not another boss. Oh no, Dippy, seeker of beverages. The strongest of bosses. No, he honestly looks kind of dehydrated. Ugh, so thirsty. I need water badly. Why not go and look for some then? It's not going to just drop out of the sky. 
the sun burns, poor Dippy. I must stay in my cave. Please let me get a drink. Oh, poor Dippy. Where is it? I know there's a Cheeto page here. The other Cheeto page is either floating in the sky here, or it's down there. I know there's one here, because I remember that it has to do with Dippy. I also remember not being able to very easily see it. I'm just going to assume it's up there, and we're going to get it when the time comes. Oh, okay. Forward to adventure! Thank you for finding my missing child. You don't look too pleased. I'm still worried about the rest of my family. Look at my eldest, Scrat. He's very sickly and in need of doctor, doctor urgently. Which doctor? I don't care. Any doctor will do. I've heard there's, I've heard there's a crazy shaman that lives on the cliff top who might help. You mean the crazy, same crazy shaman that lives, you know, everywhere? Not every character in this game is bad. Yeah, you know it is. So yeah, let's stuff this giant Tyrannosteraca thingy into our bag. Because there is something we must do. This is such a long part. But I wanted to have Pterodactyl Land done before part 24. And I will! I don't care how much I have to cut out. Just hopefully the end part won't be over 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Because that's just... 30 minutes feels like a good limit to me, unless it's the last part, because the last part, you know, it's kind of nice to have them be real long, because it's like the finale and stuff, but, of course, I might feel differently when we get to the end of this one. I still don't know how many parts this LP is going to be. I've recorded, like, nine today. When this goes up, either way, I'll be on vacation. When, I'm up, when this goes up, I should have almost left my vacation. Those things are still there, but, um... I'm, I'm recording so many today so that I will have stuff to upload while I'm on vacation instead of, you know, getting off track again. I didn't have my computer with me in London, but I will have my computer where I'm going now, so I should still be able to upload and stuff. And now we'll put the sick Tyrannosaurus on there. And we'll deal with that later. But, there is one more thing I want to do. And I will actually meet you there. So much cutting. Can you guess where we are right now? Yeah, that's right. The last one is one that I missed the first time we picked up notes in the river passage. That's just irritating. Okay, guys. With that, we have completed all that I care to complete right now and set up to complete more of Pterodactyl Land. Actually, let's take a look at it. We have 7 out of 10 Jiggies. We have 2 out of 3 Petito Pages. We can't get the last one yet. We have everything else in an hour and 39 minutes. That was quite a lot of recording. In the next part, we will start somewhere else, and we will actually probably get the last few things in Glitter Gulch Mine and be done with that forever. Alright, I will see you guys then. And we are mostly done with Terry. We are, we are done with being in Terry Land all the time. For good. See you guys later.